I'll spend a little bit of time talking about video and audio messages. So these can be really, really good things uh, to, to, as a pattern interrupt at the beginning of a conversation that you have with someone in a social selling setting. So, uh, you know, dropping them a first message on LinkedIn rather than saying, hi, how you doing? You might want to instead be, you know, send them a video message or an audio message with a little bit more detail. But there's, there's, there's definitely some do's and don'ts when it comes to these to make sure that you are adding the human element of, of you know, the whole interaction in there, whilst at the same time, not just kind of looking like just a, a double glazing salesman and just trying to hawk them stuff. Apologies for a double glazing salesman, but you know what I'm getting at here. So what are these do's and don'ts? Well, do make sure that you introduce yourself. Do make sure that um, they can understand you and they can hear you clearly. You don't have like a generator behind you or make sure that you don't have, you know, you're not doing this thing from the side of a road uh, and you are lit properly. Do make sure that you're not kind of moving around and the background just kind of whizzing around back and forth and do make sure that it seems like you're paying attention to them when you actually send this video message. What shouldn't you do? Don't just sell to them. No one in the history of mankind has ever bought something from an initial message that someone sent to someone on LinkedIn, just hawking features and benefits all over the place. You know, if you sent someone like this, say for this coaster, oh, hi, so I thought I'd just uh, introduce you to this coaster, the, the, the Coaster Lux 2000. It's three and a half inches long. It's made of high quality cardboard and it's got the Flash logo on it. You just look at it and be like, get out of my life. Leave me alone. Stop, go away, shoo. Instead, maybe you want to go for more of an approach, something like, there's more pain indicator orientated. So you might want to say something like, hi, I have no idea if it makes sense to speak or not. Uh, so I thought I'd just drop you a quick message to first of all, say hello, um, and also just to tell you a little bit about, about me and what we do. So we help businesses who have problems such as, brum, 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 brum. Now, I have no idea if, if this is you or if any of that resonates with you. And if not, that's absolutely fine. Because even if not, it's really good to have you in my network so that you know I, I help people out through content that I'm producing regularly and through articles that I share. And I'd love to be able to see what you, what you share and what you kind of post as well. Um, and if not, nothing else, it's great to have that kind of connection there. It doesn't have to be heavy. Ultimately, this is just about you kind of making a connection and, and figuring out kind of nice and early whether or not it makes sense to speak further. This is all honorable and ethical stuff, remember. This is not you kind of throwing yourself at them and going, bye from me. This is instead about you having conversations. And that's what this is all about. It's not the whole conversation. This is just the start of the conversation. And you know what? You can figure out if it makes sense to speak further from there.